Howdy, I'm B. Let me welcome you to the Beer Snobs Radio Show. We are a bunch of friends who are not experts, but we know we like in beer. Our definition of a beer snob is someone who just won't drink craft beer. So sit back and listen to us blind review beers on the Beer Snobs Radio Show. All in all, Beer Snobs, how you guys doing tonight? I am B, and to my right is Big Rob. Really loudly. Across the table is Damon. Right next to him? Professor. Okay, guys. Um, as we begin, we start off doing a question, and I'm not sure if I had a question, but I got an opinion of the beer society or beer tasting culture or whatever we are. What do we consider ourselves? Beer critics. I'm curious, what are your opinions around the table of the abundance of only positive reviews of beer? I, I, I mean, I look around. And I see that I think we're the only people that will sit down and put our put our name on the line to say this beer is shit or this beer you shouldn't buy or this beer is not worth your time. Nobody else has the balls to do so. But I'm curious about you because, you know, there's some people out there who just won't even release episodes if they have a bad review or they won't even talk about a beer if it's a bad review. So, Damon, you, you're biting at the bite at the chomping at the bit. What's up? Let the other guys go first. OK, Professor. We live in an era, or we're being groomed in an era of positive thinking and positive influence. You can't say anything negative without getting serious backlash. Or who are you to say the bear sucks? What if someone else likes it? It's our opinion. It's what this show is about. It's about opinions, whether it's shit or it's good. And perhaps other shows don't want to say bad things because maybe they're getting beer. Pussy. They are <laughs> giant veggies, okay? Meow. Exactly. But no, it's just a matter of, of not stepping on other people's toes. We live in a society of pussies and they podcast. You know what? I think a big part of what you said is correct, but I also think that another big part of it is the fact that these guys are given free beer and are uh, uh, paid by breweries, which we have refused to do. We will not do because we're not going to uh, uh, bow down to anybody and say their beer's good when it's shit. We're going to give our honest opinions, which is why if we're going after anything, we go after people who distribute the beer and we go after the uh, places that you buy it from. We're not going to deal with the breweries themselves because if their beer is shit, we'll tell you so. And I am not going to do otherwise. You know, for you know, for me, I, I really think that the issue falls under the fact that with both of you guys say, I mean, honestly, the world is not made of sunshine and unicorn farts. If there's sometimes good stuff, there's sometimes bad stuff. And I think we pride ourselves on being the people who could tell you, we don't like this. We're not a fan of this. Now, if you like it, more power to you. I mean, we for I one of the oldest episodes we did was about the Hot and Roth. It's a sour. We didn't know about it. We didn't know what the beers were supposed to be sour. But guess what? Now we have people who like sours and they probably dig it. But we want to be honest about our opinion and our feelings about what we drink and what's put in front of us. Every one of these shows are blind. We don't know what's coming out. We have no clue what's coming out, but we're going to be honest and give you what we think is our opinion on what we like and what we don't like. And I guess I guess I'll finish this out. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, how do I put this? Um, yeah, I think the reason why none of those other people want to do it the way we do it is because they're afraid to piss off the breweries. They're afraid to piss off the beer companies because they're actually trying to create a relationship with those people uh, for whatever, for you know, free beer, for sponsorship. Or whatever and they they want to be able to go places and oh you're those nice beer boys who basically do a internet commercial for us for a half hour wow thanks a lot guys they're not for for people who really want to know the truth the the real dirt about beer that's what we're for we carry the balls for the podcast beer critic world yeah okay they they don't have balls we have the balls we carry the balls they swing low Sometimes they smack a glass of Budweiser and it crashes to the ground. Fuck them. Who cares? Amen. <laughs> We're the beer snobs. We drink it. You decide. That's all there is. And the testament, the testament to this is when we went to a beer event and Big Rob decided to go to somebody and say, <laughs> hey, I'm Big Rob from the beer snobs. The guy says, <laughs> you can't drink this beer. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't let him have a beer because he knew that we were honest about what we, what we drink. But we're afraid. Yeah, he oh, was no. afraid well, to let me drink yeah. his beer. But 
on to better things. Beer number one. Aye. Beer number one. Oh, it's a long time coming. Nice golden color. Mm. Oh, good smell. Nice Very smell. berry smell. You well, smell yeah, that? It's, it's nice fruit. It is a pleasant berry. It's not like overpoweringly. You get a good head, too. Berry like blueberry or raspberry. I am very impressed by this head. Yeah, it stays for a while too. Even with just a slight little whirl, the head comes back. That's a, a light flavor on it. It's really light. Very light oh, flavor. The like way that. they did the uh, uh, wow. the fruit in the beer is the way you should. With putting it in the brewing Ooh. process and not mushing it up or putting the juice in and just letting you absorb what little bit of taste you get. It's got a weird like lager aftertaste though. It, it does taste like a lager to me. But it's too. not it's not harsh. You know, the berry flavor isn't the overpowering. It's it's a right mix. Oh, not at all. It's a right mix with a uh I'm trying to think Strawberry? No. I'm thinking no. Raspberry. raspberry. No, it's not raspberry either. Mm. I can't it's put my a strawberry on it. To Maybe I don't know. It's it's a blueberry, it's a I don't think it's blue. I mean, crayon? No. no, I thought crayon. No. I don't know. It's, well, it's definitely yeah, but a berry. But it is a berry, for sure. And it's almost got like a rose petal-ish kind of Finish. taste. No. In the that's, a good, that's a good hint. I, 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 I can taste like it Like rose now. water. Yeah. It's weird. It's a very smooth. I like drink, it. Though. I like it's it's got good drinkability, yeah. but I mean, yeah, that aftertaste it's, is just like, it's it's just like bad lager. The aftertaste. Yeah, it, it's got good drinkability. The they brewed it properly. They did everything right, and I'm still not a fan. I don't like it. I think this is a great gateway beer for a lot of people. I mean, this is something you might want to say. If this is craft, I'll tell them, hey, come on, try this beer because you you might have a flavor that you like a lot of it, and it, you can have some other things that a good craft beer does. It's not not bad. So it's a good. Beer to get people who drink piss water to drink drink good beer. Oh, yeah, you know what? Up. Fuck it, those people. It, seriously, no. If, so uh, <laughs> it, if it, it did, you know if it didn't have that weird after flavor that that weird like almost like slightly I'm skunky lager aftertaste, I would say it would make for a decent session. I'm not getting that. And this is a you know a drinkable beer for beginners to uh you know medium flavor you know. It's a drinkable drink beer for ladies. Is. Yeah, are you enjoying yes, it? Exactly. Uh, not, day enough. Uh, it, not enough. It's not enough for my. It's time. not a bad beer. No, it's it, not. It, it's not a badly made beer. It just might not be a bad beer for everybody's taste. But who, who's ready for the reveal? I must say though, the Let's finish was the finish. If you know, drank it properly, is is a little flat. But yeah. Okay, what we have in front of us is Eel Riv- River Brewing Company Asi- Asahi 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 Berry Wheat Asahi Berry mm. Berry Wheat. Ah. There we go. There was a weed. What? Acai. Acai. Acai? Acai. Okay, let's go. Our acai berry wheat ale is light body wheat ale brewed with organic acai berries from Brazil and a flavorful mix of pomegranate and berries. Hmm. They, they got some food pairings on here. Uh, they think you should do it with like, you know, that makes sense. If you pair this beer with a, be, pair this beer with a salad or sushi... That makes yeah, sense. To I was me. gonna say sushi. Well, that explains the the bear the strong berry taste that Chicken. was undiscernible yeah. to yeah. any of us because we're like, yeah, how much do we have acai berries? Yeah, how never. Many, yeah. <laughs> no, they're like coming up everywhere now. Yeah. They're, they're yeah, every much trend. Trend. They really are. I did get the wheat though. I didn't. I did get that. It's not bad. It's no. gluten free, right? So like that on the side. Uh, no, it's is organic. It free? It's organic. It's organic free. beer. So it's, it's got wheat in it. Four point oh. Easy. It's not very easy. It's not bad. It's a session beer. Like I said. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not not something I think I just I, a little I, skunky in the aftertaste, and you know, I, I don't know. And I agree with Damon on that. Surprisingly, oh, we agree from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, not immediately. Not immediately. <laughs> not first beer in. <laughs> one of us has to convince the other one. What, what do you guys think of the, What do you guys think of the bottle? Very plain. Eh. Yeah, I'm like very meh. Dull. Well, you know, here's my problem with bottles nowadays: is that. Either you're very simple or you're way too complex. And this one falls right in the middle. And to be honest with you, this bottle is doesn't jump out at me. doesn't say, okay. Only thing I see is acai. And maybe I want to buy an acai beer because I feel I need the healing benefits of this fancy berry. But it's there. Isn't this the one that cures AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Damon, how's it working? I wouldn't know. Well. Pending, right? He doesn't right. eat we'll the I only, I only slept. I only slept with your mom once, <laughs> <laughs> and I did use a rubber, so I I, I haven't gotten the test back. Touche. Anybody else? Anything else you want to say about this beer? No, fuck it. Let's move on. Beer number two. 
Uh, from the looks of it, I think it's a half. Wow. I don't know. Wow. The head, the head nice is head. very, yeah, very nice. I'm very impressed. Cr- I can tell right this is going to be like a creamy tasting style. I can tell right away this is going to be like a creamy style taste beer. I mean, it's just by the head alone. I guess by the smell, I think it's a half. And citrus. Yes, yes. citrus. Well, I don't know how half we would go. Let's see. The smell is almost, uh, almost like Belgian. Yeah. That taste is it's, way more citrus than I thought. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it smells like citrus and spice. Yeah. You smell like a little hit of pine in there? No, I don't got no pine. I got a little of that. I got a no lot pine. of citrus, a lot of yeah. citrus in the taste. I don't want to... That is a nice blend. I mean, a little heavy on the citrus, but I mean, the, the hop notes are, are real gentle, but you could still taste them in there. I'm not Dude, I'm not hop catching hop that. No, I am too. It's just a little. It's just a little bit. It's it hits not, the back of the throat. Don't don't think with your West Coast palate. Yeah, you just let hit, just let it swirl it around your mouth. A little. The hop will hit you go. just a tiny. Yeah, let tiny it hit the bit. back of your throat is where you'll feel it the most. Yeah, that's a gargle. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, trust the professor. He gets it hit in the back of his throat a lot. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not catching any hop notes yeah. from this. I am slightly. I'm with uh, D on this one. Not not enough to really count. No, it's, it's 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 just a slight blend. It's. It's like uh uh you know, bam. I don't know if the Those sweetness is, is is overbearing in this one. It's just it the citrus so and the sweetness is coming out too strong. The citrus is definitely yeah man. yeah. This, the, is, this is strong. I mean the, the the hops I taste slightly. But is this an orange? I think it's orange something or other. Yeah, it yeah. has to be. Definitely tastes orange. Tastes like an orange wheat to me. Not bad. No, it's Not an bad. orange wheat. Yeah, smooth. Not a special one, nothing uh, fantastic about it. It's just an orange wheat. At first, little overly orange. At first taste, I would say like Shock Top if it had some uh, testicles. This has got it's got a little more testicles than Shock Top. I, I, I just don't a I, little. I, I, I'm not impressed by this. I think, I think people have done it way better. Whoever did it before. Lemony. Oh yeah, I, I think orange wheat by yeah, Hanger Twenty Four. Is... I'm thinking lemony. Think lemony. Yeah, yeah, over orange. Okay. I'm thinking lemony over orange. That this. citrus that comes in, it, it comes in fairly strong. I, I'm just not a fan of it. I think it's a little overpowering on the beer uh, for me. Too soon for a shandy? Yeah. yeah. It's not a shandy. It's not no, I know. I, no, I've that's had not many a varieties shandy. of shandies. I'm just trying to think. Shandies put the juice in after yeah, they it's, brew it. Yeah, it's real tart, it's, too. Yeah. You're right. That's a lot more tart. Who's ready for the reveal? Let's get to it. Let's go. Samuel Adams, cold snap. Really? Yeah. Let's hear huh. the description. This is the this is fascinating me. Uh, it's a wit beer, five point yep. three. Stirring from the haze of a winter, this refreshing unfiltered ale awakens a smooth wheat, bright snap, and spring spices. From the subtle sweetness of an orange peel and plum to the peppery bite of fresh ground coriander, the blend of spices creates just the right refreshing kick to signal that spring is on its way. And it does talk about the hop varieties, uh Halitu, uh, Millefru Noble hops, so three different hop varieties. So that's where you're tasting. Yeah, the three different hop varieties that are just very, very subtle, very subtle. So yeah. no, subtle. and like, you know what? I got, I got the orange. I got the spices. I got the coriander. I don't get any plum at all. Any what? I didn't get the plum. plum. You didn't get the plum. Yeah, did they say, get, they said it was plum in it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I got no plum. No taste. plum. Yeah, yeah. The special ingredients are a blend of exotic fruits and spices, including orange peel, plum, hibiscus, and fresh ground coriander. Oh, yeah, coriander, get, yeah, yeah. You, you know, the you know coriander. The plum, the plum could probably be blending with the hops. It could be the reason why we don't taste the hops as much. A flavor like that could kind of clash slightly with it. Not bad, though. Know. Not bad. This is going to be a toughie. Leaving uh, kind of a what oh, the hell. oh, it got better for you once you found out it was Sam. No, no. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't really I'm, like oh. the beer. No, it's pretty good. It's Sam. It's pretty good. Yeah. No. Hey, bitch, I never said I didn't Fucker. like it. Oh, I said Sammy. it was in the air. Sammy. My love, Sammy. I love Sammy. Send me beer, Sammy. You know, uh, for what it is, guys, it, it, we see the bottle. It's another Sam bottle. You know, just... Simple design. Simple design. Simple going. I'd be real with you. The other bottle was at least different. So, uh, Oh, this one's Sam, and it lets you know it's Sam. And I actually think it's a little neater than normal, so I like this one better personally. Oh, and here it is. This is the uh, winter release only, so a seasonal beer from Sam. I don't know what I feel about these two beers. I, I think they're both okay. I think they're both really good beginner beers to get people into drinking more, especially this cold snack because you get that orange familiar flavor. The acai would be something people would be like, "What the hell is that berry?" What we like, we all did. What berry is that? Is that a strawberry? Is it a cranberry? What the fuck berry are we drinking? But it was a berry. I, I, I think they're both. Eh. Well, how about how oh. about we how about we bring it to the thumb vote? 
<sighs> well, fuck the thumb vote. Let's just give our goddamn yeah. opinions. Who's going <laughs> to see the fucking thumb Yeah, vote? they Hold see my thumb fucking up. thumb. God damn so it. So my yeah, opinion... You describe it, you jackass. <laughs> Thumbs down. <laughs> My my opinion is I agree Jesus with B. Christ. Both of them are pretty mediocre, but if you got to pick one, I got to go with the cold snap from Sam Adams, and that's simply because of the multitude of flavors and the interesting things you had going on. Even though it was a little underdone and wasn't that uh, fantastic, and the orange was a little overpowering, it still had interesting flavors back there that we were trying to figure out, and the spices and all of that, which makes it a better beer to me. You know, Rob. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I think I like the acai better. You know, I, I appreciate what Sam did, and I think they did a really good job. Honestly, I think it was just basically an uh, orange wheat clone. That's why That's why when you guys start talking about like, is would this be a Sam Adams orange wheat clone? Is Sam Adams trying to make a clone of a beer that's doing really well in SoCal? Um, but I think the acai, was, it just gave me that little surprise I didn't know of. That's something I, I couldn't figure out. We, we were figuring out the flavors in this one. I, I think that one's a, a better brew beer, honestly. I'm I'm going with the Sam Adams simply because no the, as, the acai <laughs> beer, you're getting two flavors. You're getting berry and you're getting wheat. Not bad. It's fine. This beer maybe you know let you think a little more. Okay, what am I tasting? I'm definitely tasting orange. Sweetness is in there from start to finish. Smooth finish on there. Good head. A simple drink. And yeah, I got the hops on the back end. So I'm going with cold snap. Not a not a not a body warmer, but still. All right, honestly, this one comes down for me uh, to brew style and flavor. And uh, I'll, I'll to remind you guys what I said about the acai. Um, it was it was bland, it had flavor, just like good session, but it was still skunky, like skunky lager in the finish. And this one, the cold snap had, uh, I mean, yeah, it did have a really strong citrus flavor, but again, it had that little blend of hops giving it just a little more balls in your standard citrus and no skunky aftertaste. I mean, this this cold snap would work way better as a session than the acai. Uh, way more flavorful, way more interesting. So my vote goes there. Cold so snap. we got a three-to-one vote, three guys for the cold snap, one for the acai. So the winner of the night's show is Sam Adams' cold snap. And the loser is B. <laughs> um, Suck. <laughs> With your age curing beer. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, fuck you both. Okay, well, he's not the professor of medicine. No, no, I'm not. I, I liked it better. That's all it was. So, I'm beefing the beer snobs, and I will see you at the bar. Bye. Afida Zane. Peace out. Calling all beer snobs. I am B, and you just heard one of our shows. Guess what else you can do? You can find us on the interwebs at Twitter, Facebook, G, and we're on the Stitcher Radio Network. Be our friend on our social networks and find out what we're up to and find interesting beer articles we're releasing. If you want to advertise with the beer snobs, you can contact us at marketing at thebeersnobs.com. If you want to give us beer suggestions, you can find us at info at thebeersnobs.com or any of the social networks you can reach us. And as always, I'll see you at the bar. 